everyone, it's Angel at Holiday Bubbles. I hope everybody's having a great, great Wednesday. So we're starting something new. Today is Wednesday and I normally don't do wine and design on Wednesdays, but I have to leave tomorrow for baseball baseball tournaments all weekend and it is my turn to take my son since my husband is on his work at nights so that has to say well it's my turn so we have to drive two hours away to college station in the morning and that will be all weekend so I'm not going to be able to do wine and design this weekend at all so I figure why not do it today because I wasn't even going to do it at all <laughs> hey everyone hey Mary Hey, Ann's mom. Thanks to everybody coming on. Yes, last minute. Want to design on Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a great hump day. <laughs> I know it's the middle of the week and it has to be five o'clock somewhere, which is five o'clock here, 5.30 anyways, for wine and design. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Rose. <laughs> So yes, we're doing wine and design, and I have something sweet to open up a box of Grannon Road uh, that I just got in today. So I got my another pumpkin egger. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that box right now to show you guys how to complete, I think we're what, six of these guys from Grannon Road. You can collect all six on their collection. I think they're at the uh, Edgar is the name of the last new. I don't know if they're going to continue having somebody new every single day. Hey, that's my sister. Hey. <laughs> hey, Michelle. <laughs> so, I'm going to open that box so y'all can see. All right. And y'all got to have y'all your glass of wine of your special drink for sure before we get started. So, Grandin Road. I ordered another pumpkin from Grandin Road. Love their Halloween. I was scoping out their new Halloween items, which you know, a few a few of their items are super cute. But I had to add another pumpkin to my collection. Oh gosh, he's a big one too. <laughs> Uh, no, it's fresh and pumpkins. You can go on their website and look at all those pumpkins that they have. Espresso pumpkins, it's called. <laughs> look at that fat face. Oh my god, that is just so cute. <laughs> hey everyone. He is a big dude. He's a fat face. <laughs> Yay, I got an Edgar too. Yes, Linda. He's cool. And then I'm going to display him downstairs on tabletops. I got my new tables in from Market. So I'm probably going to put all of the pumpkins on those tables. But. As of right now, he is going to be up here with the rest of the guys. So, I don't know if I'll show you this guy. He's a little one. I like his eyes. And then, we got the, and I don't know their names. They have different names. These guys, they have a name. I think this is, I don't know. I don't know his name. Frank. And this one's Jasper. Not too sure his name and his name. I think he was the very first one that I bought a few years ago. Super cute. <laughs> but I can't believe. Yes. So he's going to go up here. So that is the collection for right now until they add more to their collection on, on uh, Grand Road. <laughs> it makes me think that they actually like design for their like their employees, like who's gonna take a picture and they like actually do their designs. <laughs> Cause this looks like somebody that they, that works there. <laughs> they come from Grandin Road. 
Grandin Road. So again, I did buy this too from Grandin Rose because I do, they did have a couple other cute stuff there like this radio, haunted radio. You can change the station. I should write their names on the bottle of pumpkin because I don't I'm not gonna remember their names. <laughs> This is super cute. That's cute how they you can change the stations. Ah, spooky. What? So cute. Gotta add to your collection every year. That's what I do. Alright, we're gonna turn it off. <laughs> super cute yes every year you add to your collection i have been adding these collections to these pumpkins for like two or three years now and sometimes you know they come out with a new pumpkin every year so i add to the collection that's how you do it <laughs> so and again this beauty here is new to the shop which i have not listed yet um the mark roberts pumpkins with the harlequin uh, ribbons designer ribbons and the velvet pumpkins this will be listed in the shop uh, probably tonight um again i'm probably not going to be online too much over the weekend just because we're busy with driving with baseball tournaments yes it is jordan yes did you order one did you order him <laughs> I'm surprised he's not sold out yet. Usually they are. Hey, Teresa. They're all staring at you. <laughs> They're staring. All right, so we're going to get started. That's all I have to show for right now um, for this week. Did anybody say that they were drinking yet? Because I got to be drinking first. I don't know if they're sold out or not, Grandin Road. Uh, Grandin Road. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to use these three pumpkins. A vodka and diet Mountain Dew. Oh my goodness, girl. We're gonna have two Mark Roberts pumpkins. We're gonna do a tablescape. We're gonna do a tablescape centerpiece for a long table, probably a dining room table, coffee table, um, a kitchen table or whatever, a nook. You can put this probably on a fireplace mantle, on below on the floor or even top of the mantle. <laughs> Margarita, what? Oh, it's all right. You don't have to drink an alcohol beverage. <laughs> so we're going to get started. Yes. Mark Robert pumpkins. Of course, the favorite pumpkins everybody loves. That's what we're going to be designing with. Take the tags off. It's bad about leaving tags on. So, it's a tablescape. So... I start with a garland, which you can either start with a garland, you can start with um, teardrop swag. They have greenery that are, for, that are for centerpieces itself, but to go for the inexpensive way, I would probably use a, a nine foot garland that you get at Hobby Lobby for $9.99 on sale. They're probably less, but they're really, you know, there's nothing to them. So this is a nine foot, which is not actually nine foot because I folded it up. I gave it some thickness as in folding and keep folding to make it look like this. So this is the alternate of the cheaper way versus ordering a swag or a centerpiece itself. So I'm doing whatever I have on hand 
because this is a last minute wine and design. <laughs> like a very last minute. <laughs> so we'll get started. And again, this is flimsy. It's a garland. It's flimsy. It's not, it doesn't have a base on there. So it is flimsy, but the more that we add to it, the more it gets sturdier. Yes, the pumpkin faces. What? <laughs> I love them. They're all staring at me. <laughs> Halloween time, there's all a bunch of eyes and there's spooky people everywhere. <laughs> all right, so I went to at home store. They're, they're getting more of their Halloween and fall stuff out. Um, so they have more of their fall florals out. You teach a class on how to make your stuff. Yes, Crystal, I do. I am with the Bip Ams and Size Scoop. We have a teaching group and I do tutorials there every Friday. So you have to be a member of Bip Ams and Size Scoop, which if you want that info, just message me and I'll give more information to you. It is a paid group. <laughs> but that group is amazing and it's amazing now more than ever because it's getting close to holiday seasons whoa all kinds of new stuff coming out and everybody loves to create and diy for the holidays y'all know y'all do i do <laughs> so these are from at home store so I have two bundles of those. I only have one of these because I used the other one already. So we're probably going to cut this up. Yes, the Bam's Inside Scoop. That is just an amazing group for sure. It really is. Very supportive group. You learn so much. There was three designers you learn from. There's Amy with the Bam Reese. There's me. And there's Gritten with Grinning Yarn. She does fake bakes. So you get a fake bake tutorial every other Wednesday. All kinds of goodies. <laughs> yes, just join it. <laughs> just join the group. All right, so I am going to, I'm thinking of what I'm going to do next. So I'm kind of just like thinking right now not quite sure what I'm doing just yet because I kind of have an idea but until you start doing it it kind of just comes to me of what I want to do so I'm just taking these tags off but again at home store has our florals there are fall Halloween florals out and they are like this is this was only $3.99. So, very, you know, I like their prices. So, I'm using two of them. I'm going to go ahead and stack them one on one, spread them out a little bit. We are going to tie them to the pine, to the greenery. Just use your little tinsels and tie it in. So just tying these in structures this so it won't be so flimsy. So that's basically what it looks like right now. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tammy. Oh, I'm so glad he arrived so safe. I worry about them shipping all the time because you never know how carriers are. So this is it right now. Nah, nothing to be all hyped up about, but that's how you get started. You use those stems to make them sturdy. And you can pull them up too. Let's see. Spread them out, pull them up. Smart Roberts. Those pumpkins are probably like $30, $35 a piece for those bling velvet rhinestone Mark Roberts pumpkins. Yes, they're 
not cheap. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, go ahead and glue. We're just gonna glue it down, right, this big pumpkin in the center part right there. The old school way of me putting it like putting together my centerpieces I used to do this years ago um, so I mean I still do just because why not works just as good as using the real expensive pine you just have to add more florals to it those other pines you don't have to add so much because it's real thick This is from K and K. This pumpkin is from K and K. I should have bought more so I can sell them in my shop, but I didn't. <laughs> I should have, huh? All right. Waiting for that glue to dry just a little bit. This pumpkin is not Mort Roberts. This one's K and K. But I should have bought more of those pumpkins. There's bling. They have bling on the side right there in the black and white. I should have bought more. I do. I should have. Hey Sandy. It is Jennifer. It's from Market. You gotta have a tax ID and then you have to have a hit a minimum requirement in order to order from them. Not too sure what that minimum requirement is. But yes. Alright, and we're gonna go get the Mark Robert pumpkins. With the pumpkins. I'm having it face me, so I'll, I'll turn it around here shortly. Um, with the Mark Roberts pumpkins, I'm going like cockeyed. I like to say cockeyed a lot. A lot. <laughs> so I'm going on to a tilt. I'm not going to go straight down like that. I'm not going to do that. That's blah. So you want to give it some structure. You want to give it some, you know. So we're going to tilt it. So that means we have to glue it to that pumpkin, to this black and white pumpkin, and glue the other side down to the greenery. I don't have the link for Grandin Road. You just Google Grandin Road, and it comes up. I mean, I can give you the link when I'm done here, but just Google Grandin, like Grand, N, I, N, Road. Love their stuff. Some of their stuff is a little pricey. Overall, you can get some good stuff on there. Yes. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody posted the link for me. Y'all rock. Yes. I didn't even think about putting the link. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. All right, I'm just holding these pumpkins real quick. Make sure they are. Yes, Grin. Yeah, Grin and Rose always only order their Halloween stuff, which in their spring, I have a couple spring items from them. They have like cute, huge Easter eggs. They're super cute. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, Granny Row, they have like Halloween Haven. All their Halloween stuff's in there. Super cute. A little expensive, but you can find some good stuff. But I have so much stuff from there. I have my three witches from there. And I can't wait to do my my uh, Halloween tree. I have plans for those witches. Yes, I do. All right. So, I think it's good enough. Set. Let me show y'all up close. How it looks right now. Nothing to be all foo foo about yet. But that's it. For right now. That's what it looks like for right now. So we're going to embellish this part and the back too. So, so far. That's it. All right. Got to turn it around to y'all. Okay, I'm going to have to turn it back around to me because I like the front facing me and I try to make this smaller but I can't make anything smaller I try to make smaller items and it really doesn't work out so it's just big <laughs> oh thank you Brie yes even that extra just tilting the pumpkins did that not gluing down real good here. Hold on. Just tilting the pumpkins a little different than just setting them just side by side. Gave it that little extra. All right, we're gonna add some more florals. Let's see what I got. Have y'all been to Michael's yet? Michaels has their fall florals out already. I'm loving those purples. I got some purples, but I love these. These are my fave, my go-to. Bush from Michaels. And I have the purple too. I gotta show you the purple. Oh, the purple is like to die for. The plum, this is my favorite. This plum purple from Michaels. These are gorgeous. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Y'all need to go to Michaels. All right, so I got these fall flower bundles at at home store. These were $9.99. Not too bad. But we're going to stick those. Yes, Hobby Lobby has a floral, actually their falls on sale. It's crazy how it's so early. God, I feel like I'm so early, but I'm not. I feel like I'm, I don't know. I'm so torn and mixed on holiday season sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm like, already. I feel like I just did this. <laughs> I know, but I feel like it's too much. Sometimes it's just too much. It just happens so fast. Oh my gosh. Which actually I was doing Halloween in the month of May. I mean, who would even thought I was doing? I mean, I never, that was the earliest I ever did that. It was Halloween in May. So with these, I just cut the little the, you know branches to separate them and we're gonna like intertwine all this here and there even between the pumpkins to give it height you know and then Hobby Lobby with this coupon thing that they totally took away deters me too it really does. Oh, I can always use my coupon. No, no, you can't. They don't do it anymore. So frustrating. Looks like I'm probably just going to use maybe. Now I'm going to use these two bundles. 
this centerpiece is going to be huge, guys. The more I add, the more it's just, just going to be. <laughs> mm. Oh, Fort Myers, yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to add these straight, glue them straight to the pumpkins to give it height. Hey, Nick, what? I, get to, I can't wait for Wreath Makers Live. I can actually get a picture with Nick. What? I should be so honored to get a picture. I had never got a picture with Nick. What? I don't think. I don't think I ever got a picture with you, Nick. And the other two times I went. But now I'm going to be on stage with Nick, so <laughs> I'm sure I'll have a lot of pictures of him. <laughs> so I placed these um, leaves throughout the spy or throughout this table stay, uh, the pine itself. And I kind of just stuck it along, making it like a spread all the way around. And now I'm just gluing it all in because I like to place first, then glue. And then I'll turn it around and show you guys. So, but I'm using those tinsels, like the pine tinsels itself. And I am gluing to the pine. I'm wrapping the tinsels around the stem here. Oh, Nate, that was super sweet. What? I am honor myself. What? Hanging out with all kinds of talent on stage. And I'm so nervous. I'm going to have lots of wine. Just saying. <laughs> Look, Patty says she has a pick with you. I never did. <laughs> all right, let me glue it. I think I have a couple more here glue in. So this arrangement kind of goes with the, goes blend in as, um, with the wreath behind me. So it can be, this can be a double, uh, you know, a set together. The wreath itself with the centerpiece, it's a set. Oh, when's your birthday, Nick? What? Oh, Jan, I'm sorry you're stuck in traffic. Oh, girl. I do not miss traffic. No. It is not fun being stuck in traffic, but oh, I feel for you. But at least you have some entertainment, I guess, huh? <laughs> All right, so I think I glued all these in. Let me go around and test. And I'm going to turn it around to show you again, step by step, how this looks so far. All right. Okay, so far. So we have some gaps that we need to fill in, of course, but it is not done. This is just halfway point. So I thought I was going to, I thought I did pretty good because I thought that, you know, this, because normally I do to the side with my lives, but this is not long enough. I should have did the camera a little, but anyhow, it doesn't matter. Y'all can see. Can y'all see? 
right here. So y'all can see it gets longer over here, so I'm gonna have to like turn it around and let y'all see it. So I should totally did something like another way on the video. I can't wait to see everyone from Wreath Makers Live. Are you kidding me? It's just gonna be so crazy fun. And I'm gonna get nervous for sure. And, and I'm gonna keep saying it until it happens. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to add a couple of these. I like to take those leaves too. So you see those leaves that comes off? Let's totally use that too. I like to use a little bit of those leaves. Sometimes you can put it on the stem. Sometimes it's too small, so I glue it to the flower itself. Girl, of course I'm being nervous. It's just, I'm just so glad that, you know, those lights are so bright that I'm not gonna be able to see everybody when I'm on stage, so I get to see maybe the front row. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to see 400, 300 people plus or whatever, how many people are there out in the audience. <laughs> Wreath Makers Live is a, a retreat for designers that come together and show other wreath designers, you know, how to go across on how to make items. They have vendors there. They have uh, business Q and A's, how to start your business. They have all kinds of tricks on Pinterest, Etsy. So it's basically just a retreat on wreath making or any kind of designer home decor. And it's huge. They have it, this is like the third year, I think. So it's going to be in Dallas this time around. It's going to be in Dallas, right across from well, over the free road by Dallas Market. Dallas Market will be open while we are there. Certain places will be open in Dallas Market. So people who are attending Wreath Maker Slide, they can go to Dallas Market and actually go in. I've never been there before and see what all the fuss is all about. <laughs> Yes, Lori. A wine, probably two glasses of wine or more. <laughs> no, I'll have a couple because I can't have more than a couple or I'll fall on my face. <laughs> oh, yes, Jackie, you got some. Old, oh, you went to old time pottery. I did get those ornaments in. I, have any, I still haven't even opened those boxes. I mean, there's just so, I don't have enough time in the day. Those boxes are still over there. Hey, Jennifer. Okay, so I'm just gluing some uh, fall florals I got from Michael's in between, which is only a couple. I might do more. We'll see. So this is what I'm doing right now. One on one side, one on the other giving it a little filler, cover up that pine a little bit more. And my pumpkin came apart. I gotta glue that sucker down again. I think I'm moving it too much. All right. Let's glue this pumpkin down again. Being stubborn. Oh no, so sad. That's like when they closed um, Garden Ridge down here. I was so sad when they closed Garden Ridge. The old time pottery remind me of Garden Ridge and at home store. So the Garden Ridge here turned into at home store. Yes. 
I like them gluing the snot out of these pumpkins here. My wreath stand? No, I did not make mine. I think um, places on Etsy, I think they do sell them. I mean, we'll have to search on Etsy. I bet you can find a couple places on Etsy. I bet you they have it. <laughs> I know. I love Gardner Ridge. That was the place to go for sure at that time. They always had their stuff. I just remember Gardner Ridge always had sales. I just remember all their sales. <laughs> My glue gun is what? D what? Get this at Home Depot. Home Depot. I think it was like $60. I had it for like, hmm, going on three, four years now. So it's still trucking along. I'll probably buy another one. I know a lot of people use that other style. But I kind of like mine. See? So why change it if I like it? I'll just get a new one when this one poops out. <laughs> but before this one, oh my God, I have one of those little small ones. The little cheap, little tiny, small ones. I was working with that, y'all. I'm just, I was just. <laughs> and people, some people said, "How come you don't have a, a pick machine or a, a glue skillet thingy? If I had that pot of hot glue sitting next to me, drinking wine, oh my god, I could just see me tripping over the wire and like glues everywhere that." I burn myself it's not happening <laughs> I just so see the like a domino effect of all kinds of wrong stuff going on <laughs> so no I'm not doing that <laughs> no I'll stick with my glue gun I'm good <laughs> I'm so used to it so you know I'm just no just, no <laughs> uh-uh not going to put myself through that. But it looks easy, you know, but whatever. I'm, you know, I'm so used to my glue gun that I'll just stick with my glue gun. Mold school. All right. So, I'm trying to figure out what all I have. I think I have more orange flowers somewhere. So, I just added that one flower right there and it kind of, it kind of just like, bam, it kind of just took over that one empty space right there. Same thing on this side. And we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna go get, grab some more of those flowers. Hold on. These are pretty. These are pretty. These I was grabbing uh, flowers out of my bag at Michael's, and these this bush is so pretty, and the blue, the purple, the plums at Michael's. These are so pretty. <laughs> really pretty. I bet something to get used to. This is super pretty though. This combination, yes. Yes, perfect fall. So pretty. All right, so I have more flowers. <sighs> Same here. I'm not drinking wine. That just does not mix. No. I can totally see me going to the ER or something. Nope. Which life would probably be better if I had one. But I'm okay. <sighs> I 
I'm afraid of, you're afraid of the pink machine. I don't know. I'd probably never even, I never even used one. Like I even have no idea. I don't never even been around one. So we'll see. I bet you Wreath Makers Live is going to have one and it's going to be my very first time ever using it. We'll see how that goes. Orange, these flowers at Michael's. Mark Roberts. Flowers from at home and Michael's. I am making a centerpiece tablescape centerpiece and it's beginning to be bigger than what I thought it was going to be or what I would made the camera a little wider so you're going to see the whole thing but it is what it is so it is bigger <sighs> burn myself all the time One of the reasons why I have long nails is, you know, those long nails will help you out so that glue will don't touch your skin. Perfect. I'll take long nails any day. All right, I'm just going to turn it around. See, it's getting like so big. Can't do anything small, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, Boris, he's outside. He was so excited for us to be home. You know, they're like your babies. I mean, you, you know, you leave for a couple of days. They think that, I don't know what's going through their minds. But they're so happy to see you. All right, so it looks like I added like four, four flowers. So yes, this tablescape with that wreath would be a great combo um, set. I might add them. I might just, you know, I might go ahead and list these as a combo set. Tablescape. Next set, you rock. <laughs> oh, thanks. He rocks too. If y'all all rock. So again, you know, we come from that lanky grapevine, I mean, uh, garland that you get at Hobby Lobby. Very lanky, doesn't have any structure, but by the time you add everything else to it, it's given it that sturdiness to it. So we... We're gonna have to put some more fillers right there in the middle. I do sell arrangements. I do sell centerpieces. They tend to sell out pretty fast whenever I list them. So you gotta keep my you gotta keep an eye out on all those listings when I post. All right. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I got these. these these are from Michael's Michael's starting to put out their Halloween stuff so these are from Michael's these are Hobby Lobby so we're gonna give it some so we have sprays on both sides so in the middle part we're kind of lacking some of those um, fullness so we're going to add some to it. 
That's when the greenery comes in. Oh, thank you, Jess. Thank you. I love them. They were so cute. I'm going to close this blind back here. Yes, I can't wait. Uh, I'm ready to make some Mr. Bones. I haven't made any Mr. Bones yet. Only made a few. I'm ready to make Mr. Bones needs to come back. Steampunk needs to come back. He will be back too. I will make more of him. Just waiting for skeletons to come out. So I'm placing these greenery that I got at Michael's, filling in the center point that needed something, needed a uh, steam, yeah, steampunk is my favorite. I'm missing those guys. I need some skulls. I'm waiting on skulls to be back in stock. The skulls I use. I'm just patiently waiting for them to be back in stock. That's why, that's one of the reasons why I closed Halloween custom orders so I can go ahead and make more wreaths and designs without being customs. So I have a lot of, a lot of stuff in my creativity in my brain that's ready to come out. <laughs> I'm anxious to use them. Vicky, that's just a nine feet garland that I got from Hobby Lobby for like $9.99. Cut it down, fold it, either cut it or fold it. Cheaper way to have a base. By the time you add all the stems and the pumpkins and your centerpieces, it kind of just all works out as in stable, being stable and not so flimsy. All right, so have the greenery put down. Yes, it was a garland. So I added the green here to make them sticking out from the sides over here too, to give it some fullness here. So that's what it looks like from up top. <laughs> Again, bigger than what I thought was going to be. <laughs> but it worked out. It's working out. It's working out. It's like I needed some more flowers up front. This is what I got. I like these sprays. These sprays come from Hobby Lobby. Again, this is so perfect with this wreath back there. So that would be a great, perfect combo nation on a set itself. Have in your house the centerpiece that matches the wreath. And not all wreaths can be only on front doors. You don't have to have them on front doors. You can also have them on a door above, a wall above the centerpiece. It's not just for doors. These wreaths are not just for doors. You can hang them on your 
huge mirror. You can hang them above your fireplace, above an entry table, all that. No, the base is a garland. It's a nine foot garland. The cheap garland you get at Hobby Lobby at nine foot. I think it's $9.99. I don't know, the cheapest garland at Hobby Lobby. You gotta look for it. And um, fold it, cut it, fold it, or whatever. To your liking, how long you want it. And that is your base. Hey, Lori, what's up, girl? So I'm cutting these. What I'm doing here, I'm cutting these branches off, like these berries off one by one, and I'm like tying these two together because I feel like it needs to be thicker when I use them. So I'm tying them together to make a bundle. So, and then I'm just giving it that extra, you're gluing it in. So, so I'm just putting those around the slag, I'll say swag, centerpiece. Floor arranger, whatever it is. <laughs> Tablescape. <laughs> I call this a tablescape because it's long. And it's long. Perfect for your dinner table. You can see uh, the person in front of you being at a dinner table. It's perfect for that. Yeah, it's just a garland folded up a couple of times to make it thicker because it is a strawny little thing. So, I think we're gonna add some more flowers too because I don't have enough fillers to make it complete. Oh, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm over here just talking away and I'm not really showing y'all. So I'm cutting these two. in these two and then I'm tying them together to make them bigger bundle now they do have little bundles smaller than these but you get more out of the big stem for the price Let me add ribbon I might add a couple ribbon to the top, I mean to each side, I might add some ribbon tails. We'll just see how it goes. Because you can add ribbon tails to this either on each side to give it more length. All right, so I added berries for a texture. I'm gonna add more, we're gonna add more flowers. I didn't buy a lot of fall flowers on all these oranges, orange ones. So we're gonna add more of these, because it's all I got. No, the black and white pumpkin is not from Mark Harbor. these flowers to the sides so I can give it more fillers. I 
almost done. Pumpkin from K and K. This one right here, K and K. Mark Roberts. K and K. We are almost finished. Getting bigger. <laughs> the more you add. <laughs> Sure. Yes, and whether we, yeah, I probably am gonna add some ribbon tails to the sides. Why not? Sure. <laughs> you walked. Home Depot. <laughs> My hair is falling out. All right, so let me turn around and just show you what we've done so far. There we go. Maybe it's gonna be heavy a little bit. It's starting to get a little heavy. So adding all those florals right here in the middle part is a nice filler. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. Yes, I love Halloween. And my skulls I use and my pieces are all plastic. Plastic. Now, what I like about this fall arrangement and the wreath behind me is that a lot of people do not decorate for Halloween so, but this is the transverse from Halloween to fall. So you can leave it out for Halloween and for fall. So, some people like to decorate a little bit for Halloween. Not everybody like the old scary and gooey stuff like I do. <laughs> and all the Jasons and all the Michaels. <laughs> all the scary stuff like I do. So, and some people, and it's, you know, it's a, it's two inches on, really. You know, I like all the scary stuff. I like all the creepy stuff. Perfect. Okay. So, we might add some more to it, but right now we're going to go ahead and add this Harlequin ribbon I got from Craft Text very designer thick ribbon gorgeous ribbon when the ribbon that you love and you hate to cut that kind of ribbon you're like i don't want to cut that ribbon it's so pretty <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Thanks, girl. All right, so I am going to add this tell to probably the end, the very end over here. Oh, thank you, Diane. So 
So I'm basically just adding this ribbon to the, each side. And again, it's making it longer. And just tied it in. <laughs> I know, I love Halloween. No, you're not the only one. Nope, not at all. So I added the tails to the end. We're probably going to put some embellishment on top of that tail too, just hide the pine just a little bit more. And this design, you cannot hide that pine too much. I mean, you can, but this time I'm not doing it. So. box? I don't know. 36, 12 by 36, 12, 12, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes this is what happens with me. Sometimes, well, all the time, I do not think about how I'm going to ship it before I create it. <laughs> so, I create and then, then I'm like, oh crap, I got to ship it. <laughs> So, how am I going to ship that? So, I answer that question way later after it sells. And then I'm like, oh, I need a bigger box or something. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, okay. And so, I either have to buy the box or make a box. So, yes, I don't think about that ahead of time. I never do. Maybe I should, but I don't. Cause like, like I said, this, this centerpiece, this, uh, tablescape or whatever it is, I did not plan for it to be this big. So I can't go off of what, what size the box is going to be first. I just wait until afterwards. No, no free shipping. No, I do not do free shipping. No, that's a no, no. In my eyes, no, I don't. Shipping is expensive. You don't, I don't offer free shipping. I know some people do. Unless you, unless you up your game on the price of your item to compensate. But shipping is expensive. No, I am not a corp, a big, I am not Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I'm not a big corporation, so I can offer free shipping. No, ma'am. But some people do offer free shipping, but they compensate on their items to be up in price. They up more in price, add it to the total price. So, yes, yes, it would have been. All right, so I added some berries to the top part of that ribbon tail just to give it something to cover up that pine a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna add some more of this greenery here just so because I have a couple of gaps that I'm not really happy with yet. So I'm gonna try to cover those up. Yes, Barb, exactly. Free shipping, it's not free. They add it to the price of the item, which my items are pretty expensive anyway, so I hate to add 
another $30, $37 to the total price because that would be crazy. I know Etsy was making us doing that for a while, but I don't do that anymore. No. People know they're going to have to pay for shipping regardless. People know that. Especially when they're buying it from home, you know, handmade, small businesses. This is my opinion. Clients, nobody, all my clients do not complain about shipping prices. They don't. My clients do not complain about, and I love them for them, they do not complain about how much shipping costs. I mean, with us being small businesses, no, you can't just can't offer that. Did I use all of them? Nope. I need to talk to myself again. <laughs> so, they know they're going to pay shipping on Etsy. Now, Honestly, yeah, if I'm buying from, let's say, Home Depot or big corporations, yeah, I mean, I want free shipping. These are big corporations. Why not? Or, my, or Amazon or whatever, yeah. The small businesses, we can't afford that. I mean, no. No way. No way, Jose. So I am just actually just going through here to cover up some holes I have. Then we'll be done. I thought I was gonna add some of that, the black, this. I thought I was gonna add some of these, but I'm not. Um, it will make it more Halloween-y. So I'm kind of going for Halloween slash fall. So somebody can leave this up through fall and Halloween. So this would be perfect for that. <laughs> Gloria. I just rambled on with that, didn't I? I did, sorry. <laughs> so we added some greenery through there. And we are done, it looks like. Yeah, it could be for Thanksgiving, table, fall, autumn, whatever. Touch of Halloween. Mm -hmm. oh, I just love that black and white. Harlequin is my favorite print. One of my favorite, plus polka dots. Gotta love the polka dots. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, you're cute. I can't help it. <laughs> Favorite time of the year. All kinds of pretties are coming out. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, I think that is it. I think we are done. What? Let's see what side I want y'all to see. There's some size are better than other side this side but it is it's pretty big <laughs> oh Shelly thank you I think I'm okay <laughs> there's so many talented people out there I am not the only one so many I'll have lots of talents over there at Reef Maker Slide for sure lots of talent 
All right, so we are done, yay. All done. Way bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. So, <laughs> this design will be listed tonight. And this design will probably be listed in the mornings just because I can take pictures. Maybe, I don't know, I'm leaving like way early in the morning. So hopefully I can get some final pictures on this centerpiece. Um, but like I said, this centerpiece and that wreath can go together as a combo set. I can sell them as a combo set. I can sell them individually. So I'll probably just list them. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna have to list them individually. But if you want them as a combo set, just let me know, message me, and then we'll, we'll talk about that. And I'll make you a custom listing for both items, but they are perfect for a combo set. For sure, yes. <laughs> and I almost finished my wine. What? <laughs> I mean, you can make it Halloween too. Another idea. If you're at home and want to make this more Halloween, just stick some glitter or spiders on it. Boom. Just like that. Make it more spookier and just set some spiders on there. And then when Halloween's over, take them off and use them as a fall centerpiece. What? So easy. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again for joining for Wine and Design. It was super fun. And again, I am closed for all Halloween custom orders. Yes, closed. Crazy that I'm closed for custom orders, but I am still open for fall and Christmas custom orders will be open on the 31st. So a lot of people is asking about the Christmas custom orders. All information on how to order anything or anything custom Christmas, Christmas custom orders are pinned. All the information and detailed information is pinned to the top of my page. So if you want to order something custom made as in for Christmas on the 31st, message me on the 31st. <laughs> and then we can discuss details and payment and prices, all that detailed information. But until then, do your homework find out what color combination you want. You want to extend it to your colors that you have now. You want something totally different for Christmas, but you got to send inspiration pictures, photos to me because it helps me being a one-on-one -on -one with you uh, what all you're looking for in a design. That goes for any of them, any custom orders. But again, all custom orders are paid upfront payment to be completed on, a, to be on the list for completion can't stress that enough so please please read the description pen, dependent <laughs> dependent pin it to the top of my page and then it shows you and read and tells you everything that I require on custom orders on Christmas which it opens July 31st message me on the 31st <laughs> not now <laughs> now I'm just playing I'll still talk to you but Honestly, but all that will be open on the 31st. Halloween orders are closed. Done with Halloween orders, but I will continue to make Halloween breeze centerpieces all ready to sell items. So keep an eye out on that because it tend to go fast. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Y'all are awesome. Y'all rock. Y'all are amazing. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.